Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Pagga and today I'm playing the final blitz on Lee Chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before I start with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's start the game and see how it goes. Got the white pieces. I'll play the London system setup. Starts with d4, bishop on f4, can play pawn e3, and then drop the knight, drop the bishop. Can do it in either of the order because these are the respective uh, places where pieces will go in the London. Can play pawn forward. Doesn't. I can take here. That is one of the defenders of my king of my opponent's king side castle. Uh, plus my bishop would be a bit disadvantageous if we place pawn forward that's weakening so I can wait for that as well so I'll develop the knight wait for a move or two and then take on the knight maybe okay um, I have a check coming but that can be saved easily rather I can just maybe take on this and then proceed with the pawns okay, let's do it the idea is to push pawns forward. I'll take this first as well and make sure that there's no folk coming. That's not a folk right now. So I can probably play pawn forward as well. I have this. Oh, my bishop is being attacked. I just saw it. So I'll just try and double up here as well on the diagonal. Now I'm going to play pawn forward, which he doesn't. So I'll play pawn forward, asking him to take or not. Now I have to be aware of this, but there's no such threats because I can definitely give a check. So should not be concerning there. Uh, hold. Yeah, I have to take here. Now opponent pushes the pawn forward mostly. And what we'll do is first give a check. Or no, I should just first give a check with this. Otherwise I can lose as well. Oh, now my opponent plays this so that he is safer. I'll Take the pawn now, giving a check. He sidesteps off the harm's way. Now I cannot take, so I have to make sure that there's no folk coming. I can go here, that makes more sense. Uh, it's defended with the rook, and I have a check which lands up in a folk. And he cannot take. Oh, that's a mate actually, wait. That's a fancy mate. <laughs> that is an amazing mate. And that took 16 moves. And why did that happen? Let's analyze from computer perspective. Where did my opponent go wrong? And I think not taking the pawn was a big step there. Plus he was focused towards blocking my diagonal, my battery, uh, towards the king side. So he played pawn forward, ignoring the threat of the knight, that where this knight can land up to. Um, I, so that was a problem there. Let's analyze. Started with d4, c6 by the opponent. I played bishop f4, opponent plays pawn to d6 there, and I played e3, solid moves, then bishop on d3, and the right diagonal, and then f3, knight f3, and then that's a weird move. As I said, weakening up your king side uh, pawn structure is always bad. Then you're also blocking your knight's uh, natural development square and putting it on a corner, which is never going to be helpful. So f6 was the beginning of the downfall i would say i played uh, c3 trying to create battery over there uh, the threat was not actually a threat because i can definitely move my bishop backwards if he plays pawn forward i can uh, sorry not there but here i can take first and take back and then push my bishop backwards so not a threat at all uh here my opponent loves the knight on h6 a uh, couple of moves computer suggesting first the computer was suggesting to take then knight and now it's suggesting to play pawn forward instead i chose go, went ahead with knight to d2 open castles and see as soon as the open castles on the side uh, that's weakening again because it's an open diagonal already and how to take advantage of it i took on the knight first which he takes back and i am now 1.3 ahead in the game and um, which keeps changing of course and then i push my pawn forward h4 going for the attack and again my opponent plays a wrong pawn break which of course i can take 
operand takes back with the right pawn there, but by now, uh, engine is also calculating how much advantage white has, which is a definite advantage. 1.8 is good enough. Um, and then I went with the battery, uh, queen on c2. Here my opponent went back with the bishop, which was bad, as clearly suggested by the computer. Now suddenly from 1.3, it goes to 4.6, the evaluation in my favor. And right move there, trying to break open the pawns, uh, because this was never a problem. I had three attackers to that pawn, so he needed much more. And also, there is no problems if he tries to push the pawn forward, because I can give a check, push his king to backside, and then take on a pawn. And I'm threatening to take on this pawn as well next. Uh, so not an issue at all. The pawn is also weak. After my open plays this, I can take the pawn. And certainly I'm in control of everything. Now, yes, you can play pawn forward or you can just try to pin my knight, but that's not going to help you at all. Because as soon as I get my rook active, uh, I'll be uh, way more deadly here. And I can just even get my knight back and castle on the queen side which would mean my rook is in front of the queen and I can have discoveries by moving my knight away. So a lot of stuff can happen from there on, uh, but instead my opponent went with, uh, by, uh, sorry, uh, moving the pawn forward, which was uh, f5 here, I take on the pawn. So my opponent got his bishop first so that now I cannot probably threaten him with check and he can land me a, uh, a move which loses me one of my pieces. But instead, here, I took on the pawn first, giving him a check. Now he has to go back, and oh, that's the uh, that's the best move as well. And then I also saw the right move for me, I would say, knight to h4. And now that's coming with a nasty fork, and that has to be seen. And uh, But my opponent's focus want to, was on my battery, so he just wanted to close this diagonal, so move the pawn forward. And that's mate in one. That's a weird mate, I would say. Mate in 16 with a knight and a pawn is amazing uh, to be seen like that. So I hope I like uh, you like the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll make sure that I'm posting these interesting videos on a daily basis. Thanks for watching again. Take care. Bye-bye.